raw brain and a bit of meat. Better than nothing, but it will give you strength for the Siberian weather that can change in a heartbeat. Look, you see it's clouding over already here now. And in Siberia, the weather can change in the blink of an eye. And if you're caught out here, big storm, high winds, in this forest, this amount of snow, visibility be almost zero. And if you just sat down and did nothing, you'd freeze to death. So what you need to do is find some sort of emergency shelter. But work with what nature's given you. And let you see this is way this is split. And what I can do is make like a really quick, simple lean-to shelter here. Sometimes you just need a place to rest at. You don't need anything fancy, just something you can knock up in minutes to keep you out of the elements. Place some branches along the fallen trunk for the basic roof. You want to be able to do it in, let's say, 15 minutes if the weather really turns. Sphagnum moss is a good insulator and stops your body losing heat from the frozen ground. Just carve off big chunks to make a mattress. And a few of those will be enough for me to lie on my chest and keep all my upper organs nice and warm. In an emergency, the priority is to protect your vital organs and conserve their heat. And then what I need is just a load of green foliage just to cover all of this framework. And then in about 20 minutes, I've made a you know, pretty good emergency shelter. There are wolves around here. Russia has more wolves than anywhere else in the world. They will attack humans if they're hungry enough. So you need to have a fire lit quickly to keep them at bay. Birch bark is great for lighting fires. It's always like considered nature's fire lighter. And it's you know, naturally waterproof. So the inside of it stays nice and dry. The fire really just makes the world a difference. You know, suddenly you just feel human again. And really, I just want to rest here for a bit, warm up, and just take a bit of time. Oh man, that feels good. Woo! A few minutes rest and I'll be ready to carry on. I'm nearly out of the forest, and if I keep heading east, I'll find civilization, whatever it takes to get there. I'm in Siberia, showing what it takes to survive in this frozen wilderness. Cold here, just intense. I'm heading for the Trans-Siberian Railway, your one hope of salvation. As you can see down the bottom of the valley, that's definitely either a road or a railway. Let's go for it. Go on, guys. Okay, let's get down there. It's a freight train, about a mile away. I might be able to get to the track and jump aboard and get out of here. Oh, we've got to make this train! I've travelled this far to reach the railway and the challenges of Siberia have been immense. I've dived into icy waters, crossed frozen lakes and diced with the maze of the tiger forest to get here. I've got to match my speed to the train. If I miss time to jump, I could be chewed up beneath the wheels. One last sprint and I should be able to leap aboard. 